Hello beautiful people, welcome back. Uh, today, finally, we are going to work with this section, okay? So I don't have a lot to talk about today before the video, so let's get straight to the business. Okay, I may need to put this on full screen now. I think we may oops where are you okay I may need to go straight to the video for now and uh, first off what are we going to do here is we'll need to create a page called cards okay so let's go to pages for now we only have the product detail on our pages okay we'll do new dart file then we're going to do to give this card for the shopping cart right Okay, afterwards I will add this file to git. Um, now, let us, since we have this, I guess we can go back to the view I like, which is this. Mm, import. Don't worry about the colors of the file, this just means I didn't upload this to the git repository and I will do that as soon as possible. Now we're going to import what? I hope you guys know that we first have to import the flutter material dart. Uh, now what we're going to do is to create a stateful widget. And we're going to call this cart or shopping cart as you want, but I'll just give it cart. What is this widget going to return? Let's go back to it's going to return a scaffold. Okay, and uh, let's go here to the product details because I want to copy something and now you know let's go to the main I want to copy the app bar you don't need to copy you can write this again but since you're going to be doing this over and over and over again I just want to spare some time so just copy the app bar settings if I may define them like that and I will paste this good stuff this down here we can just delete is not required and for the title I'm going to give cart or shopping cart depends on you and for this page for now it's all we need to call the page now and I think that it's easy for you guys now to do that shopping cart just come over here right navigator dot push context okay and uh, before this i'm forgetting we need to import the file import package dot uh, pages and inside of the pages we're going to import the Card dot dart so now you can use it okay uh, route we're going to give material page route a function which takes the context has an attribute and returns new card okay
you close this stuff here is it everything okay card with the capital C that was the problem so what to do now I'll re rerun the app I don't want to control save it did I no I didn't okay let's try and here you have it okay I guess it's okay uh, now we want to be able to call that from here as well it's simple just come to the sh I would just copy and paste but okay I want to give you guys chance to practice and remember how is it done so we can come here and write navigator dot push context okay no problem and here I'm going to give material page route and we're going to call a function which take the context as the attribute and returns new card needs to be capital okay you can control save this no issue whatsoever and you can as well call it from here okay so what 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 else now we will do we'll start working with this stuff here let's open this up we need to zoom in a bit up app bar here and we will go down here and I'm going to give oops oops bottom navigation bar is what we want one of the properties of this scaffold and for the bottom navigation bar we will give new container I'm going to give the color of the container to colors colors dot white and as a child of the container I'm going to give in a row okay and children over the row then down here for the children first let's create the expanded widget for the child I will give list tile of course okay list tile and for the title of the list tile we're going to give new text widget inside of the text widget you're going to write the total amount I'm facing a problem oh I misspelled this text okay and then we're going to provide the subtitle property and for the subtitle we're going to give new text I'm so sorry for the news just a habit you don't need to write it and just putting a value as a placeholder here and the value is to thirty dollars um, then what are we going to do is create another expanded widget I'm going to create a child new material button on press for now we'll give just an empty function oops
and then down here we are going to provide the child of this new text checkout and another property of the material button is the color I'm going to give colors dot red and for the text I'm going to give style text style color colors dot white okay <clears throat> here we have it so down here at the very bottom of of the page we'll have a total on the left side then we'll have the amount then the checkout button uh, which is going to take you to the payment section afterwards uh, now we need to work with the body of this but I guess that this video was already long enough so I will try to stop I will not try I will just stop here and for the next video we will work with the content of the card page as always, thank you for watching guys. If you did enjoy the video, leave your like, leave your comment, uh, criticize, support, anything, share, and yeah, just anything. Just let me know down below and hopefully we'll see each other on the next one. Bye bye.